Ready? Yeah. My name's Stan the Bosnia, and I'm fishing in West Africa with Mark Longster. I hold 150 IGFA world records, and I'm going to show you how we set up for these giant tarpon here in West Africa. First consideration in terms of when I fish for these fish is the hook, which is here on the end of the line. You'll see right there, I'm using a circle hook. Can you get a good shot of that, Mark? This one is a Mustad Ultra Point. And the reason I use this hook, it's a little bit heavier gauge. Now, the, the thing about these big tarpon is they have such a strong jaw pressure that right here at the bar, I've had three tarpon lost over 200 pounds just because the tarpon bites so hard down on the hook, it breaks the hook right there. So you don't want to have a tuna hook, but you want to have something light enough so that your live bait will swim freely in the water. And also, you do not want a hook that has a, a light wire because I guarantee you they will bite and they will break this hook right here at the barb. So that's the kind of hook you want, about an 8 off to 10 off circle hook. Next consideration is the line. Now, because I fish for IGFA record, I, records, I'm limited to 15 feet. So what I have here is 80-pound Seaguar. And I use Seaguar because it's high quality, and I use the blue label, and it's heavy. Now, the reason I'm using such a heavy line, you might ask, well, why use a heavy line like this when you're fishing with 16-pound line? Well, over a two- or three-hour fight, this line becomes so... So much abrasion happens to this line that this 80-pound line will turn into 40-pound line in, four, in, in three hours. So the other aspect of fishing for big tarpon is you want to land the fish within three hours if you can. The past three hours, you got problems because your leader is not going to be the strength where, where it started. Next consideration, I'm just going to walk you down the line, is the actual main line you're going to use. Now, here, what I have is 16-pound line, and I'm using mason. Now, the reason I use mason, as you probably know, tarpon travel together in packs. I've lost fish fishing ultralight line because the tail of the fish bangs this line, and over a couple of hours, what happens is this line will reduce in its strength. So I, I use Andy a lot. I've lost multiple tarpon fishing with Andy. Why? The line becomes becomes scarred because it's the, the fish are swimming around together and so you want a line that has a lot of abrasion resistance and mason in my opinion it's the best line for that now i have 15 feet of leader and probably about five feet down the leader i have a spot for a sinker so i have a little whip knot here with a bead with a uh, slider to hold the sinker so depending upon the state of tide, and I don't know, Mark, if you can, you can show them how fast the tide is running, but if you look at this water right here, it's moving. This is not like fishing in Florida. The big fish are going to hang in the heavy, heavy current lines. And so what you want is you're going to put probably a six-ounce sinker. You're going to put a six-ounce sinker right here, and you're going to hold this down maybe 10 feet off the bottom. And that's where the big fish are going to bite. Now the other consideration is the kind of reel that you want to use. Now I've used all sorts of reels. I use AVET, and I'm not trying to endorse any manufacturer. I've used Shimano and I've had bad luck with Shimano reels. They don't have the, the kind of drag system that I like. This particular reel, it's variable. I can set it to whatever drag I want, anywhere from two pounds to 40 pounds. Okay, this will actually hold up to 40 pounds of drag. So. And, and actually, this, this reel is made for braid. It's designed for braid. But for tarpon fishing, for ultralight tackle, I think it's the best, uh, the best that you can use. So that's it for me in terms of tackle. Mark, have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. All right, so that's the tackle setup that we use here in West Africa. This is how I fish for ultralight, uh, ultralight tackle for, for tarpon. And uh, I guess that's about it. So good luck and good fishing.